Honorable members, in our midst today is His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Niger State, Rai Honorable Umar Mohamed Babu, is here to present the 2024 appropriation bill that is the budget. With the leave of the House, may I at this moment invite Mr. Governor to make his presentation. You're welcome, Excellency, sir. Bismillah rahman rahim Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Niger State, your Excellency, Right Honorable Speaker of the Niger State House of Assembly, immediate deputy, past Deputy Governor of Niger State, my Lord, the Chief Judge of Niger State, the Grand Cadi, members of the National Assembly here present, principal officers and members of the 10th State Assembly, the SSG, Head of Service, Chief of Staff, Deputy Chief of Staff. Members of the State Executive Council, members of the State Security Council, Special Advisors and Permanent Secretaries, Chairman of Local Government and Councillors here present, members of the Niger State Council of Traditional Rulers, led by His Royal Highness Araji Dr. Aya Abakal Etunipe Bagadouj, State Chairman of the APC and other political parties here present, our development partners, captains of industries, civil society organizations, distinguished invited guests, my dear citizens of Niger State, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. Mr. Speaker, before I venture into the business of today, I need to thank God today for this opportunity. In my stewardship in the House of Representatives, I was always on this side, watching the President present budgets for 12 years. Today, by the grace of God, I'm the one presenting budget before the House of Assembly. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, honorable members, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to inform the general public that from today henceforth, my nomenclature is Farmer Governor Bagu. <laughs> so I wish to be addressed like that henceforth. And thirdly, there is a very huge misconception in the public. I have only said Anybody working in my government, in the ministries of work, agriculture, and any physical uh, needed uh, uh, ministry or parastatal cannot wear Agwada to office. I did not ban the wheels of Agwada. And if you see, my SSG is wearing suits. A lot of people are dressed differently. From here, I intend to go to my farm. So, and I think it is very important for people to understand so that we cannot misquote it and words are not misused. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> right, Honorable Speaker, I'm deeply humbled and privileged to stand here before the 10th Niger State House of Assembly to, pre to, to present 
the 2024 budget proposal for scrutiny, legislative consideration, and approval. The 2024 budget, as you may be aware, unveils the basic focus of our administration, which is geared towards enthronement of a new and sustainable Niger state that is full of opportunities for all. It also allows me to acquaint you with our plans for the 2024 fiscal year. Mr. Speaker, let me commend the 10th State Assembly on the timely confirmation of my political appointees and the passage of the 2023 supplementary budget, which demonstrates the commitment of this legislature to the development of Niger State. As a Democrat and a parliamentarian, I stand and I understand the importance of maintaining a harmonious working relationship with other arms of government. Therefore, our administration will continue to strengthen the existing synergy and collaboration between the executive and legislative arm of government. To put the state on the path of sustainable development to achieve our collective objectives. The 2024 budget is a pivotal roadmap towards our shared vision for a prosperous future, which is why we have termed it the budget of the future. This budget not only addresses the immediate needs of our great state, but will also serve as the roadmap for a visionary 20-year journey embodied in Niger State Future Initiative. Our social contract with the Nigerites in our manifesto is to improve livelihoods, security, foster a sustainable economy, uphold good governance, and advance both urban and rural development, which defies the essence of this transformative initiative. Therefore, let us together embark on a journey that paves the way for the golden era and sustainable future for all. The journey so far, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, distinguished members of the State Assembly, since the accession of this administration on the 29th of May, 2023, we have embarked on transformation efforts for a new and sustainable Niger state to change the negative narratives and improve the quality of lives of citizens of the state we thus embark on the following. The groundbreaking of urban renewal projects in MENA and the Ring Road projects in BIDA. The payment of 20% subsidy on 100 number of trucks of fertilizer. Payment of counterpart funds areas to donor supported projects in the state, such as ATAPS, NGKS, Value Chain Development for DAMA, Agile, Acresal, etc., to the tune of 20 billion naira. To support dry season farmers for cultivation of 4,000 hectares of land. Procurement of units, 200 units of compressed CNG buses to ease transportation business. Repairs and fixing of 33 number of existing NSTA buses. Payment of 3.5 billion compensation for right of way on Minabida Road. Repair of Dr. Abakar Imam Kagara International Airport, Mina. Hosting of the first subnational green economy summit to harness green assets for the desired prosperity in the state. Settlement of 650 million naira debt to the Abuja Electricity Distribution Company, AEDC. Secured approval for establishment of Niger State University of Education to increase access to tertiary education and scholarship. Before I forget, it is our intention to name the University of Education after the late engineer A. Okuri. May Allah forgive you so. Payment of outstanding debts to Waek and Neko to the tune of 500 million. Conversion of Shururo Hotel into IBB University Teaching Hospital. Procurement of more 
of more equipment for IBB Specialist Hospital, replacement of medical students on salary grade 10, engagement of 1,000 health workers and 26 medical doctors, development of the three arm zone that was started by Dr. Maaz Babangida at the Hotel Bermina, reconstruction of the SSG's office, establishment of the gold shop in Mina for gold development and value chain, procurement of 15 number compactor refuse collection vans, procurement of 15 number uh, com compactor refuse uh, collection van, procurement of 300 tractors. Uh, we have access, we are accessing 100 million euros from the Deutsche Bank for agri development and so on and so forth. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, the preparation of the 2024 budget commences with citizens' engagement, town hall meetings in six locations across the three senatorial zones of the state, Mina, Kutigi, Kacha, Kuta, Mariga, Aguara, of which 355 projects, ideas, and requests were harvested from stakeholders. The sessions were attended by civil society organizations, the faith-based organizations, women and youth organizations, state and local government officials, the trade unions, among others. The harvested ideas were forwarded to relevant MDAs and local government councils for inclusion in their 2024 budget proposals. The aim is to ensure inclusion and greater citizen participation in the budgeting process, thereby entrenching openness, accountability, transparency, as initiated in the Open Governance Partnership, OGP initiative, which Nigeria is a signatory and Niger State has keyed into. Mr. Speaker, in pursuit of our transformation into building a new and sustainable Niger, the 2024 budget will focus on the following priority areas. Urban renewal and rural transformation, security of lives and property, infrastructural development, agriculture and food security, education, health, water and sanitation, women and children, environmental sustainability, people with special needs, and elderly care. The 2024 budget will also focus on self-sufficiency through intensive internal revenue generation by exploring all available resources, blocking leakages, and all revenue generation, generating MDAs to account for all revenues receives. This, to this end, the practice to generate and utilize by MDAs, including tertiary institutions, is hereby abolished. Mechanism for operation of this directive are being worked out as we diversify the state revenue base. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, we will reinvigorate our efforts in genuine public-private initiative to attract both domestic and foreign direct investment into Niger State. We will key into the national financing framework, encouraging corporate social responsibility and facilitate the ease of doing business to encourage investors and industrialists to Niger State. Also, the intervention of development partners will, continue, will continuously be effectively coordinated, monitored, and evaluated for, to ensure maximum results. Thank you. The 2024 revenue profile. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, a total sum of 613 billion 274 million 81,698 Naira 17 Kobo has been proposed for 2024 fiscal year. The proposal is made up of 149 billion 217 million 969,152 Nera zero Kobo representing 24.33% as recurrent expenditure and 464 billion 
million eight hundred and thirty two thousand five hundred and forty six naira sixty kobo representing seventy five point six seven of the total budget size as capital estimate. The budget the budget is to is to be financed through recurrent revenue of two hundred and ninety eight billion fifty two million six hundred and fifty five thousand five hundred and twenty naira zero kobo made up of one statutory allocation one hundred and fifty five billion nine hundred and sixty six million seven hundred and eleven thousand sixty four naira value added tax fifty billion six hundred and forty four million seven hundred and fifty naira internally generated revenue sixty one billion eight hundred and sixty eight million six hundred and twenty thousand nine hundred and sixty eight naira thirty five kobo excess crude and other revenue nine billion five hundred and seventy six million three hundred and twenty two thousand seven hundred and thirty seven naira Shopee refund twenty billion a total of two hundred and ninety eight billion fifty two million six hundred and fifty five thousand five hundred and twenty naira only mr speaker honorable members this budget is also to be financed by capital receipts of three hundred and fifteen billion three hundred and twenty two million one hundred and forty six thousand 178 naira zero kobo which is made up of 256 billion 459 million 74825 naira and 58 billion 766 million 71353 as loans and grants respectively the proposed 2024 budget is based on the Economic and Fiscal Update, EFU, Fiscal Strategy Paper, FSP, and Budget Statement, BPS, 2024-2026, as passed by this Honorable Assembly. The budget will therefore be based on the following assumptions. One, expected 5.1 billion monthly internal generator revenue collections. Two, abolition of generate and utilize by all MDAs. Three, implementation of the state and local government harmonized revenue law. Four, automation of IGR collection to block leakages. Five, introduction of 5% contract processing fee entertainment on hotels and resorts among others. Six, a proposed exchange rate of 750 naira per dollar. Seven, a projected national inflation rate of 21.4% and GDP growth rate of 3.78%. Crude oil price benchmark of $65 and production benchmark of 1.6 million barrels per day. Expected capital receipt inflow of 315 billion, 322 million, 146 thousand one hundred and seventy eight naira only expenditure estimates mr speaker honorable members let me now present the details of the 2024 budget proposals the proposed recurrent expenditure for the year 2024 fiscal year is 149 billion 217 million 969 thousand 152 Naira, representing 24.33% of the total budget, which consists of the following. Personnel costs, 50 billion, 614 million, 456,657 Naira, 11 Kobo. Overhead cost, 29 billion, 446 million, 590,341 Naira only. Consolidated revenue, 69 billion, 156 million, 
922,153.39 Kobo. Total, 149 billion 217 million 969,152 Naira only. Capital expenditure. The capital exp expenditure outlay for the year 2024 fiscal year is estimated to be 464 billion 56 million 832,546 Naira 60 Kobo representing 75.67% of the total budget size with the following key project programs. Sectorial breakdown. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, the transformation of a new Niger and sustainable Niger has commenced. We shall be methodical and pursue it with vigor to achieve the set out objective as we have identified our priorities and have mapped out implementation strategies. For us to achieve this laudable dream, the 2024 proposed budget is hereby themed the budget of the future. It has higher proportion going to capital expenditure and which represents 75.67% of the total budget. This is unprecedented. <laughs> Agriculture. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, there is no gain saying that land remains our greatest asset in Niger State. This, ar this arable land with the presence of large body of water makes our state agrarian. Therefore, we shall leverage on our comp comparative advantage to ensure food security by making sure that our farmers have access to improve agricultural inputs, cultivation of more lands, extension services, provision of tractors, and attract donor support to the agricultural sector. The government already has embarked fund, has earmarked funds for the buffer stock initiative to purchase assorted grains to address food price fluctuation in the state. In 2024 fiscal year, the government will procure equipment and machinery including 300 units of tractors, farm implements, as well as fertilizers for farmers to engage and engender farm level productivity. In addition, we shall embark on massive de de deployment of 250, development of 250 hectares of land for cultivation across 25 local government as a pilot scheme. Furthermore, irrigation support will be provided to com communities to ensure all year farming activities as well as fertilizers for better yield. The Niger State Agricultural Mechanization Authority, NAMDA, will be repositioned to enable it effectively undertake its agricultural extension mandate and support farmers in all ramifications. To this end, we shall invest in the sum of 43.5 billion naira in the agricultural sector to attract at least 1 billion US dollar of investment to the state in tandem with our commitment to maximize and fully harness our green economy potentials. Rural development. One of the key priorities of this government is to transform our rural areas as a majority of our people in Niger State reside in the rural communities. This informed our decision to create the Ministry of Rural Development to resuscitate the World Development Project Initiative and to accelerate rural development. Therefore, the sum of 6.8 billion is proposed for the implementation of the community-driven development projects in the, in, the, in the 274 political wards across Niger State. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the government will develop the Rural Infrastructure Master Plan to guide rural development planning in the state. Also in 2024, a total number of 112 kilometers of rural feeder roads will be constructed rehabilitated 
surfaced across the state. Let me emphasize that in the year 2024, the provision of the social amenities, electricity, primary health care facilities, primary schools and markets in rural communities will receive desired attention to open up rural communities and improve living standards of our rural populace to enhance economic activities. Livestock and nomadic affairs. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in the outgoing year, the Ministry of Nomadic and Pastoral Affairs was created to address challenges faced by pastoral, pastoralists with efforts to bring to an end the lingering hostility between hedgemen and farmers in 2024. The government intends to establish a data bank for nomads and pastoralists in the state. We will construct milk collection centers across the state, establish pilot ranches, grazing reserve, establish community ranches at Hamdala Lapai local government, Kungu Fulani Boso local government, Rungan Ardo Sanda Ushishu local government. To this end, the sum of 700 million naira has been proposed for capital expenditure for the Ministry of Nomadic Affairs in, in 2024. Also, under the livestock subsector, as part of the deliberate effort to avert farmers' herders' clashes, the gazetting of five additional grazing reserves will be undertaken in collaboration with the federal government, and the sum of 625 million naira has been earmarked for the development of the Sheyi Grazing Reserve. The overhauling of Togwe Livestock Improvement and Breeding Center, statewide vaccination of animals, and the construction of MINA Ultramodern Abattoir, Tai and Great Sea Abattoir at Kuta, Mokwa, Wushishi will be accorded priority too. The livestock subsector has a proposed allocation of 13.6 billion in 2024. Infrastructure, housing, and urban renewal. In realization of the importance of infrastructure in societal development, the government embarked on urban renewal projects and commenced road flagship projects in Minabida. In the 2024 fiscal year, the government will continue with the construction of and rehabilitation, completion and maintenance of road across the state. This includes the reconstruction and expansion of town ship roads, phases one and two MINA, 41 kilometer Bida Ring Road, MINA Bida Road. Similarly, the construction of 50 kilometer road in Kontogora, Suleja, additional eastern bypass in, in Kontogora local government, uh, will be undertaken. In addition to the construction of the township roads in 17 local government headquarters, namely Age, Enagi, Lemu, Kacha, Lapai, Kutigi, Nasco, Tafa, Shiroro, Mashegu, Makwa, Serkin Power, Kagara, and Paiko will also be done. <laughs> Distinguished members, fellow Nigerites, all necessary arrangements have been finalized for the commencement of the construction of the 71.5 kilometer Garatu Kateregi Bida Road to be financed by the Islamic Development Bank and the Abu Dhabi Fund. Furthermore, in 2024 fiscal year, the government intends to embark on the following road projects the completion of the 41 kilometer Mina Suleja Road, we want to take it over from the federal government. Taking our Zungeri Road. Erana Township Road and Kontogora to the Jau Duko to Enegi Roads, among several other roads. The completion of these roads projects will ease traffic flow in the state and reduce the road accidents, cost of transportation, vehicle maintenance, and ultimately travel time. In 2024 fiscal year, our drive for urban renewal will provide high-target digital instrument for Niger State geographical information. The Office of the Surveyor General to enable them to carry out responsibility of well-planned cities and towns across the state. 
the review of Mena Suleja Master Plan and the development of rural master plans for Mokwapa, Ekokuta, and Oshishi, and payment of compensation to property owners whose property will be affected as a result of our urban renewal drive will be accorded priority. Mr. Speaker, the government is committed to the completion of the 300-unit housing estate at Mokwinkele and the redevelopment of the abandoned three arm zone project as contractors have since mobilized to site. It is our intention to build 10,000 houses in the next four years across Niger State. <laughs> Furthermore, in partnership with the private sector, we will be constructing 2,500 housing units in MENA, inshallah. The infrastructure, land, and urban renewal have a total proposed capital allocation of $220,649,503,450 Kobo, which represents 42% of the entire budget of the state. In the fiscal year 2024, the procured 200 units of CNG buses will be put into use to alleviate transport challenges occasioned by fuel subsidy removal and to ease inter intra mobility. The civil servant would commute to work at a subsidized rate while students would be transported to school for free. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, honorable members, the government notes with concern the attitude and indiscriminate parking of heavy trucks in our cities and to this affects effects will embark on construction of trailer parks at Mokwa, Madala, Lambata, Tegina, and Kontogora, with a budgetary provision of 5.1 billion naira. To further, to further ensure safety, obeying traffic rules and revenue generation, the operation of motor vehicle administration agency and traffic management agency will be enhanced through the engagement of qualified personnel, provision of operational equipment, and conducive office environment for better performance. Mr. Speaker, this government intends to invest and explore other means of transportation, such as rail, air, water for the socio-economic activities. To this end, we will, we will purchase a 75 horsepower Yamaha engine for ferry of Rofia, construct a ferry jetty at Guzan and Rofia, and procure three water boats for Bajuko, Zumba, and Kuta. We will also procure life jackets for the safety of our people. We will continue to invest in the MENA airport to reposition it for agro export and unlock the potential across aviation value chain. <laughs> Energy. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, the importance of electricity in the economy and social development of the people cannot be overemphasized. In 2024, we will pursue with vigor the completion of all ongoing rural electrification project across the state. We will also be transitioning to a green and cleaner energy. We will also provide electricity to Magama and transformers to Magama. Provision of transformers and maintenance of streetlights in Menabida and Kontogoda will be accorded priority. Also, in the coming fiscal year, in partnership with the private sector, mini grid solar and mini hydro systems will be deployed to improve power supply across the state in 2024. We plan to extend across. Uh, we plan to extend access to electricity to at least 30,000 people. Mr. Speaker, honourable members of the House of Assembly, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. In our quest for a new and sustainable Niger, there is an urgent need to grow our economy as well as improve our revenue base. In this regard, 
we will embark on an industrialization drive, engage in genuine partnership, and improve our ease of doing business to attract investors. To this end, the Niger State Investment Promotion Agency will be repositioned to enhance service delivery. We will pursue to a logical conclusion all MOUs that were signed with pledges of investment that were made to the state. Hospitality and tourism have become a gold mine, and our administration is poised to create a first class tourism industry, giving our states numerous, uh, numerous tourist sites and rich cultural heritage. Therefore, we have embarked, we have here marked the sum of five billion for the resuscitation and completion of the abandoned MENA five star hotel. We shall continue to support efforts aimed at preserving traditional festivals and state participation in national and international cultural festivals. In 2024, going by our projections in the, sec in the sector, we are expecting at least $3 billion in investment. Water resources and dams development. The Niger State Government underscores the importance of water to human existence. In 2024 fiscal year, the government will pursue the rehabilitation of five by water schemes at Sabonwuse, Kutegi, Selka, Takuti, and Mariga as part of our responsibility to provide potable drinking water to the people we will rehabilitate 12 water works and drill 333 boreholes to increase access to potable water for about 348,000 residents in Niger state the residents of mina i'm sure have witnessed more and steady supply of water the niger state rural water supply and sanitation agency will be reinvigorated and to enable it to perform the role of construction drilling of boreholes in rural communities as the government will procure new drillers, new rigs and accessories at the cost of 300 million naira only. The water supply subsector has a proposed capital expenditure of 5 billion, 197 million, 278 million 304 naira 57 kobo. Environment and climate change. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, the issue of environmental management and conservation of nature for the sake of the future, for the sake of the future generation, is a pivotal, is pivotal to this administration. This is demonstrated by the convening of the Green Economy Summit where environmental issues were discussed, resulting from, the, from that summit, Niger State Green Economy Blueprint was developed and launched during the COP28 Climate Change Summit in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. The government is committed to the implementation of the policy to ensure maximum utilization of our land assets and to set the pace for the carbon economy in 2024. Niger State Government signed a sister state agreement with the Dubai Government for the planting of one billion trees. Also, in exchange, Niger State is expected to receive cooking stove, one, one million cooking stove from Dubai Government so that we can transition from burning trees to using a cleaner energy. The Ministry of Environment will carry out various activities ranging from planting and maintenance of trees in settlements to demarcation of forest reserves, distillation of mega drainages and waterways. In addition to undertaking erosion and flood control measures and ecological survey of erosion sites in the state, the government has mapped out strategies for massive tree planting across the state in the year 2024. It is our intention to embark on a community uh, engagement and awareness program so that our rural dwellers will understand the need for conservation of the environment. 
Also, the Niger State Environmental Protection Agency, NISEPA, will be provided with waste com compactor vans, operational vehicles, and gully MTR trucks as part of efforts to ensure a cleaner environment. In 2024, we will resume the regime of environmental sanitation at the, er at the last Saturday of every month. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, as part of efforts to maximize the benefit of our mineral endowment, the government will continue to support the oil exploration in Bida Basin. We shall continue to seek partnership in exploration and provide effective coordination and regulation platforms on artisanal mining to boost our internal revenue drive. We will support the recently established international gold market for further enhance, to, to further enhance the opportunities for gold mining in Niger State. The Niger State state-owned mining company will be enhanced in capacity to also compete so that Niger State will be part of the gold trading in Nigeria. Education. The education subsector has a proposed estimate of 76 billion, 276 million, 508 million, 605,000 Kobo in the uh, 2024 fiscal year, making it 14.55% of our total budget. We will build 95 schools, including six mega model schools in Mina, Bida, Suleja, Boso, Kontogora. To increase access to quality, edu quality education, furthermore, 325 schools will be renovated, including whole school development projects. <laughs> Kitchen utensils will be pro procured for 56 boarding schools in line with the Enhanced School Feeding Initiative. Given the importance of the technical and vocational education, 1.5 billion naira is earmarked for the is the amount for the completion and renovation and equipping of technical schools in Suleja, Kontogora, Jaba, and Mina. The government also earmarked the sum of 1.8 billion as a matching grant to UBEC and committed to the payment of the counterpart fund to support the project programs in the sector. Similarly, continuous support will be extended to tertiary institutions to meet their accreditation requirement and infrastructural development. This government has secured a 15 billion naira for the new engineer uh, University of Education. In our desire to increase access to tertiary education, the Niger State University of Education is being set up and has a proposed allocation of 20 billion for takeoff. Through our existing MOU with Kent State University, Ohio, we will set up Niger State Kent State Center for Fusion, Kent State Center as a fusion for tertiary education, special skills development, knowledge and exchange, and more. Furthermore, we are poised to provide scholarship for students at both local and international levels of academic pursuit. Health of sector. The health of sector has a proposed budgetary allocation of 42.7 billion naira. In our efforts to strengthen the primary health care system in the state, we created the Ministry of Primary Health Care in 2023. In 2024, the government will build 35 primary health care centers and renovate, equip, and upgrade over 200 primary health care centers across 25 local government areas of the state. We will sustain this and strengthen the existing partnership with UNICEF, the Bill Gates and Melinda Gates Foundation, and other relevant partners to enhance the quality of health. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in the area of secondary health care, the sum of 300 million is earmarked for upgrading six primary health care centers for rural hospitals at Kacha, Enegi, Serikim Power, Aguara, Lemu, and Moriga. In the year 2024, the completion of the ongoing remodeling and upgrading of the general hospital in Mina, Suleja, Kontogora, Tungamagajia will be pursued. The renovation and furnishing of 
Other general hospitals at Bida, Age, Kagara, Kutigi, Mokwa will be undertaken. Furthermore, the sum of eight point the sum of eight billion that eight million eight hundred thousand naira has been earmarked for the purchase of health equipment to be supplied to general hospitals across the state. Under tertiary health care, the sum of two point two billion has been allocated for the conversion of Shororo Hotel to a teaching hospital and the sum of 968 million for the procurement and installation of essential medical equipment. Social development. The care for vulnerable and special need people is paramount to, the, to this administration. Also, in our quest for, to empower women through our collaboration with the World Bank and the government, we will support the Nigerian for Women project to scale up its intervention for the remaining 22 local government of the state, following its impressive performance in the pilot local government of Age, Gurara, and Ushishi. To this end, 123,120 women will receive grant as empowerment. The renovation and equipment of women's skill centers in the three senatorial zones to enhance training of vulnerable women will be carried out. Rehabilitation of remand and orphanages homes will be undertaken during the fiscal year. Also in 2024, we will take care of the vulnerable among us where 50,000 vulnerable people will receive cash transfers and 10,000 youth will receive social protection grants. Youth and sport development. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the focus of the government for youth and sport development to redirect their energy to productive ventures away from restiveness will be pursued in 2024. Our emphasis during the year will be on training the youth of Niger State on basic empowerment for social transformation while renovation of Abdul Salam Youth Center of, and the NYC camp at Payako will also be carried out. We are desirous to move the trade fair complex from where it is now and locate it to Payako by the grace of God and convert the existing trade fair to Aswajibola Ametinubu Grand Square. The government will embark on the renovation of Greater Obago Contagora Stadium to enable our state darling team, Niger Donados, to play its home games in MENA. Other sports centers such as handball complex and the construction of basketball and volleyball courts at MI Ushishi Housing Estate will be undertaken. In 2024 fiscal year, the government will be equipping 1,000 1, youth with special skills across critical sectors of the economy through the skill acquisition for the future initiative. These sectors include agriculture, aviation, information technology, and governance. The trade fair complex will be converted into a Suajibola Metunibu Square. Law and justice sector. The welfare and development of our judges for quick dis dispensation of justice in the state will be given priority. Therefore, the sum of 2.7 billion naira is proposed for capital expenditure and allocated for the law and justice sector in 2024 fiscal year. <clears throat> the completion of the Attorney General's Office and Rent Tribunal Office Contogora and renovation of Rent Tribunal Offices in Minasul Asia will be undertaken. A new Sharia Court of Appeal complex and the Cardis uh, quarters will be constructed at the three arm zone, in addition to the renovation and remodeling of the court buildings across the state. We are desirous of providing accommodation for the Chief Justice, for the, the Speaker and members of the Assembly, for our judges, for our commissioners, and every other person at the uh, three arm zone. Administrative sector. Mr. Speaker and honorable members, the successful implementation of any government policy 
and by extension, annual appropriation depends on the role and caliber of civil service. The government is, in this regard, has proposed a sum of 16.8 billion naira for the renovation of offices of uh, offices to provide enabling environment, provision of office equipment, capacity building to enhance effective planning and execution of government policies and programs. The sum of 3.9 billion is also allocated for the construction and furnishing of offices and accommodation for the development partners, construction of administrative blocks and renovation of government guest houses. The Niger State Assembly, <coughs> Niger State House of Assembly has a proposed 209 million for the renovation of the complex and procurement of ICT equipment. However, we are still in discussion with the Speaker and the leadership of the House to see if we are going to abandon this existing building and relocate to the three arm zone completely. <laughs> Other activities in the administrative section and in the and, and administrative sector include the renovation and facelift of the state secretarial complex and provision of primary internet to all MDAs, humanitarian, security, pilgrimage, and disaster management in the state. Information. Mr. Speaker, honorable members of the House of Assembly, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> information dissemination is vital in any, in any democratic environment for people to be enlightened and keyed into, and key into the government's policies and programs that are beneficial to them. The government is aware of the deplorable condition of its state-owned media outfits, Radio Niger, Niger State Television, Newsline Newspaper, and in, it is determined to revamp them to enable media outfit to perform their traditional role for effective information, education, and entertainment. In conclusion, Mr. Speaker, honorable members, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are at the threshold of evolving a new, Niger, a new and sustainable Niger. This calls for cooperation, understanding of all. In the first quarter of 2024, we will launch our long-term medium expenditure framework and also our sectorial plans. To achieve our vision, sustainability, we will, <clears throat> will be mainstreamed into all our plans, particularly through our Green Economy Initiative. All hands, therefore, must be on deck to ensure we succeed. And on this note, I have the honor and privilege to present to the 10th Niger State House of Assembly the 2024 appropriation of 613 billion 274 million 801 million 698 naira zero kobo for legislative scrutiny and speedy passage. God bless you. Honorable colleagues, Honorable colleagues, our esteemed guests, 
that was a beautiful presentation of 2024 budget estimate by the farmer's governor, the governor of Niger State, Right Honorable Umar Mohamed Bagu. Your Excellency, sir, the Deputy Governor of Niger State, Comrade Yakubu Garba, Your Excellency, the former Deputy Governor of Niger State, Ahmed Mohamed Kesu, the SSG, Head of Service, Chief of Staff, my Lord Ma, the CG of Niger State and the Kadi, Niger State, our esteemed Royal Fathers and Highnesses, they believe led by His Highness Esulupe Bagadozi, the Chairman Council of Traditional Rulers of Niger State. And of course, his dear brother, His Royal Highness, Emir of Kontogura, the Vice Chairman Council of Traditional Rulers, and the Pioneer Chancellor of the Federal University of Technology, Ekwatabasi Akwaibom, His Highness, the Emir of Bargu, His Highness, the Emir of Agaye, His Highness, the Emir of Lapai, His Highness, my very own father, the Emir of Mina, and His Highness, the Emir of Kagara, and of course, the Emir of Suleja in absent. Is there? Okay, I saw the last week. Apologies, my father. You're, you're glowing today. I didn't recognize you. Very happy to see you looking so strong. The chairman of our great party, APC, my very own brother, Alhaji Aminu Bobi, and the working committee of our great party, the National Assembly members here present who are in solidarity to one of their own and at the same time out of passion and love for our dear state. The service heads of the state ably led by the Commissioner of Police, members of the State Executive Council, permanent secretaries, head of agencies and parastatals, my former colleagues, speakers of this hallowed chambers, and finally, my dear beloved friends and honorable colleagues, members of the State Assembly, to our esteemed guests, gentlemen of the press, good afternoon to all of you. It is with great pleasure that I welcome the Executive Governor of Niger State, who from this moment has unveiled his new name, the Farmers Governor of Niger State. Right Honorable Umar Bagu, to this auspicious occasion of the presentation of the 2024 budget estimate. The budget is not merely a financial document, it's a blueprint for the progress reflecting our collective aspiration and the responsibilities we bear as steward of public trust. I wish to start this response by appreciating the deepening of democracy in our country that established this yearly tradition of budget presentation. I acknowledge the sacrifices of all those who fought and even paid the supreme price with their lives for us to have a lasting demo uh, democratic government in Nigeria. The essence of budget, as we all know, is to promote the spirit of planning and accountability and governance. Budget helps us to harness our resources, know what we have, plan how to spend wisely and accountably taking into cognizance the reigning day in order to achieve greater results, thereby bringing prosperity to the people across the length and breadth of our dear state. Let me inform Mr. Governor that the 2024 budget will be properly screened, taking into cognizance the new Niger vision, which entails a radical drive for the transformation of the state into a self-sufficient industrial hub, which creates wealth and opportunity for Nigerites. We assure you that this house will give all the needed legislative attention in order to ensure its speedy passage. All the house committee are going to be hand on deck in the screening exercise to ensure that the House transmit to Mr. Governor the 2024 budget as passed for assent 
inshallah, on or before the 27th day of December. <laughs> At this point, Excellency, I would like to interject. I reiterate on the need for the Honorable Commissioners, Head of Agencies and Parastatals to please comply with the timetable. In the next three days, you are married to this House of Assembly. This is where you take your breakfast. This is where you take your lunch and, of course, dinner. This budget must be passed in a week time. <laughs> Allow me to seize this opportunity to highlight the commendable synergy between this esteemed House of Assembly and our distinguished governor, the farmer's governor. This collaboration exemplifies a remarkable alliance built on mutual respect, shared goals, and a commitment to the welfare of our dear state. Our governor's unique position as a former and seasoned federal lawmaker has undeniably contributed to the harmonious relationship between the executive and legislative branches. This world of experience and deep understanding of the legislative processes has fostered a climate of cooperation transcending party lines for the collective benefit of our state. His open communication and receptiveness to the concern of this house have strengthened the democratic fabrics of our state. As we continue to work hand in hand, let us celebrate the success of this collaboration and uphold the spirit of unity that defines our collective visions for progress and prosperity. As we reflect upon the presentation of the budget by our esteemed governor, I'm compelled to highlight a pivotal aspect of his leadership that has significantly contributed to the positive trajectory of Niger State. It is with great pleasure that I address the transformative impact of governor's local and foreign trips, which have become the cornerstone of our state's newfound prosperity. Within the shortest period that the governor is steering the affairs of this state, he has displayed unparalleled dedication to the development of Niger State. His strategic and purposeful travels, both within our borders and beyond, have been instrumental and in shaping the image of our beloved state. This journey were not mere excursions, but deliberate effort to position Niger State on the global map. Through astute diplomacy and unwavering commitment, the governor has successfully showcased the vast potentials and opportunities that our state holds. I think you deserve a very big kudos for this. His engagement on the international stage have painted Niger State in vibrant hues, portraying it as a heaven for investment and a promising destination for economic growth. The positive outlook generated by these trips will not only enhance our reputation, but shall immensely translate into tangible benefits for our people. The governor's effort have borne fruit in the form of substantial foreign investment pouring into Niger State. Investors, both local and international, have recognized the untapped potentials and favorable business environment that our state offers. The confidence instilled by the governor's interactions abroad has resulted in a surge opportunities from infrastructural projects to job creation, transforming the economic landscape of Niger State. It is essential to acknowledge that these trips were not about garnering personal accolades, but were driven by a sincere desire to uplift our state, and we have succeeded in giving this state a very good name internationally. <laughs> the governor's tireless advocacy for Niger State has resonated with leaders and investors worldwide, fostering collaboration that extends beyond geographical boundaries. Yeah, Excellency, it will impress you to know that you are Nick as the favorite son of our president, Bola Ahmed Suwaju. <laughs> Mr. Governor, sir, we wish to commend your administration policy directions in the agricultural sector, which will soon reposition the state as an exporter of agricultural produce, thereby enhancing the revenue drive of the state. It is obvious that in years to come, other state and federation will visit us to understudy our agricultural potential, which will also impact positively on the nation's GDP. The next time you come into the assembly, God's willing, you will see us dressed in the regalia that you are on now. It is with great pride and enthusiasm that I wish to reflect upon the success of the recent Green Economic Summit held in our beloved state. This summit, a testament to our commitment to sustainable development, 
has undoubtedly set the stage for a, a transformation era. The pivotal link between this green economic summit and the budget presentation by our esteemed governor lies in the foresight and dedication demonstrated in our financial planning. The governor's budgetary allocation have strategically aligned with the goals outlined in the summit, emphasizing a co-friendly initiative and renewable energy project. This allocation reflects our collective determination to prioritize environmental sustainability, job creation, and of course, economic growth. The budget emphasis on green infrastructure, renewable energy, and agro-processing aligns seamlessly with the discussions and resolution of the summit. It is not only provide the necessary financial backing for the implementation of eco-friendly policies, but also ensure the availability of resources for the research and development of green technology. We encourage the Ministry of Agriculture to develop policy that will support the green economic initiative that is unfolding in the state. I want to believe that all MDAs were able to develop their budget proposals in line with the green economy initiative of the state government. It is to this end that we wish to use this medium to appeal to the federal government to come to the aid of the state, especially in the area of federal roads that are almost in the state of total dilapidation across the state. It impressed me to know that His Excellency has captured it in a budget and couldn't wait, has agreed to take over this project. Thank you and God will continue to bless you. For instance, the Minazungeru Kwantagora Road, Kwantagora Rijau Road, Kwantagora Banji Kwatonkoro Road, Mina Bida, Mina Paiko Road are roads that are daily begging for federal government attention. We therefore appeal to the federal government to urgently undertake constructions of this road in the 2024 fiscal year, as Niger State is one of the strongholds of APC in Nigeria, and it is important that our people should have value for their electoral decisions. Mr. Governor, sir, we commend your effort in the area of security, and uh, most especially me as the speaker. I must also commend you once again for your effort in that area. And concerted interface with the federal government, which has contributed to the ongoing intensive and successful military offensive operations against terrorists and bandits in Niger State. It is also to the credit of this administration that the incident of street fighting, which had become a norm in the past year, leading to the loss of lives, disruption of economic activities, a loss of revenues are now 18 of the past. We don't know how you did it, but we encourage you to do more. <laughs> it is worthy of mention that in this year's farming season, farmers were able to harvest their farms, including myself, Excellency, sir, without hindrance by bandits. This is highly commendable, and we hope the government will sustain the temple. Mr. Governor, sir, in the 2024 physical year, we will intensify our oversight on MDAs to ensure values for every COBO appropriated. I hope commissioners are taking note of this. High level compliance with budgetary provision, most especially that, and implementations of programs will remain key to our legislative oversight. We are interested in the success of this budget and as partners in progress, we will doggedly play our role using all legislative instruments at our disposal. To this effect, I hereby request Mr. Governor to direct his commissioners, permanent secretaries, and head of agency to ensure they appear promptly before all the House standing committees as I went scheduled on the screening timetable. As the Speaker of Niger State House of Assembly, I commend the Governor's positive relationship maintained with the Parliament. Most importantly, I commend the vision and leadership by the Governor in crafting a budget that anchors the aspirations of our state. Together, through the successful marriage of policies and fiscal responsibilities, we are sowing the seed of a prosperous, environmentally conscious future for the people of Niger State. Let us continue to work hand in hand to nurture this green revolution and reap the bountiful reward it promises for generations to come. Finally, I want to use this medium to appreciate our highly revered traditional fathers, the Amias, led by Bagadozi, the issue of Nupi. We feel very humbled with your presence. Thank you so very much, sir. It is necessary that for the minute necessary 
to be physically present at today's occasion. You've made us proud. Also, our appreciation goes to the security agencies, members of the Niger State Executive Councils, and staff of the House of Assembly. We appreciate you all and call for continuous working relationship for the governors of the state. Finally and finally, Excellency Sir, continue to make us smile, continue to make us happy. We are proud of you and God will bless you. God will bless us all. Thank you. God bless us all. Yes, Clark, let's make some progress. Majority leader move for the adjournment of this house. Minority, let's get a secondment from you. Honorable colleagues, with the leave of the house, this house is adjourned to the next plenary day. Welcome back from the live telecast. We'll now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned.